we good? <clears throat> okay. So what's the plan for today's expedition or adventure? S Considering that it's just us, Nikki's probably not want to go through the not gonna want to go through the work of like what eight other people. <laughs> like, like I know some of the NPCs will come along, but when it comes to the others, they're just quote unquote sleeping or just hanging out in the inn. Not gonna worry about them. <laughs> If Chill shows up, then yes. They're not around. They're they're not around this area, as far as I could tell. There's a cold room behind your bedroom. Oh, that's a weird setup. That must suck for you every time the door gets open for the cold room, your room gets cold. Yep, that's kind of the point of summer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, they, there's no point in waiting. They're more than likely not. Chill. If chill shows up, it's going to be like maybe within an hour or something. And as far as I can tell, that skipping it lightly. So no point in waiting. Just on with the story. Besides, I already started recording. Yeah, and my guy's hanging out with the girl, and until Freud talks to me and tells me about the stuff about the haunted house, I can't do anything about it. My guy's a Goliath. <laughs> be, be, between, like, half the height of a giant, I'd say. Giants are taller. <laughs> My guy was in the market as well.
You go south. <laughs> well, until Xylem is comfortable enough with like the fact with what are, uh, allowing her into a like combat situation until she's ready for that sort of thing, Xylem's gonna be the responsible person and let her hang out with the others because that's the safest way to do it. Because Xylem, if Rika can, continues to start, like, stays with us, Xylem will said that he'll show her some tips and tricks and training and stuff and, like, using weapons and stuff just so she can fend herself. But until that is 100% sure, holding off. And besides, the training can be, like, a thing that happens while we're traveling and whatnot. So... <clears throat> so, um, Zalem looks at Rika, um, and just asks her if she'll be alright if she, like, hangs out with, like, Tora and Amaya and the others at the end. Because for, um, Alexa and myself have to go investigate a thing. <laughs> But you won't. Okay, alone in the sense of she doesn't want to be away from Xylem. Okay. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, Zylem thinks for a moment and looks, and he's like, well, you know what? Six eyes is better than four, so. <laughs> so, if, like, R Rika taking along won't be, hopefully won't be a bad thing, plus it'll give another, op like, another character to be scanning around the house that we'll be investigating. And you never know, she might catch something that we don't. Okay. Hmm. Now, where is the location of said house? Was it this one? Well, I'm not. I'm not seeing any ping, and I can't ping it anything either. Whoa. Um. Okay, I need to refresh my roll twenty because the thing just completely froze. So it's it's somewhere over here. Or wait, no, it's over here somewhere. Yeah. Yay. I had to refresh because I couldn't ping anything and then I refreshed and here we go. Ping. Okay. So well. <clears throat> okay, well, um, guess we'll just start, start walking over towards that direction and s scanning the base sure, because I'm pretty sure what is supposedly going to be a haunted house will look the part. <laughs> Is 
Uh, yeah, basically look for a charred house. Got it. A quick way to test to be sure that your system actually, your thing is actually working. See if you can ping. Because <laughs> if you can ping, that means, yep, there you go. So, we had the same problem at the same time. Weird. <laughs> okay, and then, so, walking through the alleyway. D20. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Boom, 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 boom. Um, I, there wasn't anything about a fight, as just cobwebs. As in the island where he looks, seems like it hasn't been walked through in ages. So, huh. That's the, this is the fun part of being seven foot tall, is the fact that when there's cobwebs, you're basically going to run through all of them. <laughs> Ugh. I can't, I, yeah, there's, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, you say that, but my plate armor is going to get full of the stuff, but oh well. Hopefully, if some, hmm. What song are you wanting to do on the jukebox? Mm hmm. I think it's. I think if I based like I can like have it going for like I can. I don't know how well music on. What type of music is gonna be? But if I have the music volume low. I won't. I hopefully won't get flagged. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Okay, so the other way has the sound of spiders crawling everywhere. Got it. Hmm. <laughs> this is the fun part where, uh, fun part of Freud working while playing.
Whoa. Perception. Um, <laughs> nope. So, something in this alleyway is very stealthy if it gets a plus seven. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I. Let's see. I know my perception isn't as good, but. Yeah. There's no way I'd be able to see anything if I just got a seven. <laughs> so. <sighs> hmm. Well, onwards through the cobweb infested, spider infested alleyway. I really hope that's not a giant spider. Uh. Hmm. Is this a? F uh, this is either a giant spider or there are bajillion spiders that don't like people. Churn order popped up. Um, my armor class is 18, so, oh, so 11 damage? Hmm? So, if I need to beat a 13. So just five damage. Do 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 do. Ah well. I know. Okay. Hmm. How big is the spider? Oh, giant spider. <laughs> hmm. Oh, let's see how long it takes to squish the spider. <laughs> Think. Woohoo! Yeah. That, yeah. Nope. Thirteen damage. Like one more hit, one more powerful hit in that spider, and it's dead. <laughs> I 
don't think I got to do that bit. Because, yeah, my character still says level 4. Dead spider. Yay. Probably not. <laughs> uh, giant spiders. You start to get, like, Unaffected by giant spiders is when you play way too much Skyrim because giant spiders are everywhere. <laughs> so, Froy, you could e you can easily beat that four. <laughs> Just per your perception check. Oh, he oh the fourteen. Okay. Well, onward. Plop. Well, looks to see where the front door is, because <laughs> I don't know if the front door's there or if it's over here. It's over there. Walks, walks towards front door. <clears throat> Freud, Freud going sneak mode. <laughs> yeah, considering it's uh, above 20, so either way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, first of all, gonna check to see if the door is locked. So, is that perception or is that just kind of like wiggle the handle? Xylem reaches out to check the handle and just like moves it to see if it's locked or unlocked. Oh, well. First of all, I'm just going to open the door and kind of step to the side just in case if anything goes flying out. Hmm? 
Oh boy. Uh, yeah, you say that Zion looks towards you and he's like, you do realize I'm seven foot tall. I'm not able to sneak worth squat. I'm a seven foot tall giant in plate armor. One step on an old burnt crickety floor equals creak instantly. Either that or I'm going to step on the floor and I'm going to fall through. That's if there's a basement to this place. <laughs> you open the domain, you... Yet. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the visual movement of your character so I can follow suit. It's this this building. Loop. Well, Asylum enters after Alexa. And, well. You, and, you, and in a burnt building, you can tell, usually tell where it started because the starting point of the fire is darkest spot <laughs> or it's the most damaged so well time to search the house stick it you want to just, like just do stick us the four group or okay <laughs> Yep, start at the first floor and go up. Now, well, first of all, wait, first of all. Oh, wait. Investigation? Nope. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do a perception check to just to see, just so there's an idea of how many rooms we have on the first floor right now. No, my perception sucks. But I still got it. So, how many rooms are on the first floor? Hmm. Well. So the stairway at the end is to go up to the second floor, and then we got how many other how many of the how many other rooms there are to search through? Because again, the number got cut out. <laughs> Thank you, Discord. Just going to search through all the rooms. Um, start with the first one. Is the was the picture in the frame completely fried because of the fire, or does it seem to be still intact?
I'm worried now because if it's something from your brother, it's going to be very, very, very bad. Or something surprisingly good. You say that, but his choices are either really bad or they're just funny bad. Yeah, and and, and most choices are designed to torture us. <laughs> the whole point of the, your session, like for you, is torturing us to get enjoyment out of it. So that's why... We worry whenever something, especially from your brother, pops up because he's also very good at the torture scenarios. <laughs> if the <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Surprising. The well, so the picture's intact, but I'm guessing the heat from the flames completely like distorted the picture. Because that, no. So trying to rub it off didn't work. Uh, can you repeat that? Because Discord didn't allow it to come through. Okay. We got time. <laughs> Supposedly. So, so far there isn't, haven't, haven't been any signs of haunting. Because usually if it was... Okay, uh, um, Zam looks at Rika and he's asked her, um, what's, what's wrong? Or did something happen? <laughs> okay, takes note and looks towards corner. Jesus. Um, I guess I guess there's something wrong with this house and pre preventing magic. Um. <laughs> <laughs> house full of a lot of magic equals yeah there's something going on <laughs> oh i 
I have to I have to beat a 19 for perception. Oh god. Oh. Uh. I went heavily into the I'm a strong, tall, strong giant department. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's, that's. Sure, that's a new one. Don't do that one as often. Need to be. <laughs> nope. Um, twelve. She, uh, you got a four. And Nikki rolled the sixteen. So, <laughs> the dis the difference of twelve. <laughs> Um... So I would still I would also need to beat the 16. Okay, that's good. Just good. Nope. Test them via weight. How heavy are the jars? <laughs> yeah, mm, they've been in this house for I don't know how long. They've been covered in soot for I don't know how long. Um, I don't think there is really any reason to take the jars. <laughs> If they were he if one of the jars was extremely heavy, I'd say take that one because that one would be different. That that one would be interesting because of the fact that it's heavy. But if they're all about this, the weight of a jar of pickles, then there might not be anything important in them. Or the easiest way to check whether or not there's something important in them is to just break them open. Open them or break them open depending on if you can unscrew the lids. Guys. Okay, try. <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can open one. And via opening it, just be prepared to 
Plug your nose, because it might stink. <laughs> it, it it might just smell like a roasted something because of the heat. Plug your noses, people. Oh. Uh. So, what's Freud opening up? I'm a Goliath. It's a jar of sand. Um, my first, my brain instantly jumped to, I've got a jar, third jar of dirt from Pirates of Caribbean, second movie. <laughs> I, I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside of it? Uh, um, if this place is haunted and the fact that we just disturbed the kitchen dining room area, yeah, it's probably stirred up what if it the haunting if it, this place is haunted because everything was fine in their usual spots, then things got moved. Spirits don't like that. <laughs> No, no, nope. Okay. Yeah. Um, Xylem's just going to like, like, kind of like, see if he can like, quote unquote, like, sense any of any sort of like, ma what? Let me guess, Rika. The heck? How did mommy get here? Oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> uh. 
I don't. Yay. No. In no way does that hit. It just hit, hits my pl uh, plate armor and just goes thunk. Yeah, nope. You're not. You're not. You're not getting through that. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, do both hit? Or is it just one, or is it just the both hit? Okay. Ten. Ooh. So that's 26 damage to the mummy. If you don't want the mummy, if, if you don't want the mummy to touch you, do you think it'd be wise to touch the mummy? Think. <laughs> oh boy! I got critical. <laughs> oh boy! Depending on how this rolls, that mummy's may or may not be dead. <laughs> well, re dead. It's already wrapped. <laughs> oh, jeez. 26 damage with one swing. Thank you, Critical. <laughs> Gosh. Ooh. Nope. Whoever. Was that going towards me or towards Froy? I'm guessing me. <laughs> that. That zombie just took 53 damage and still going. <laughs> wow. That's one tough mummy. I hope these I hope these zombies aren't gonna be like Stardew Valley's to zombie mummies that just come back, unless you blow them up. <laughs> Fingers crossed they aren't. Otherwise, yay. Well, that's a dead mummy. <laughs> Just poke it. Poke at the ashes. <laughs> poke, 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 poke. Shifting through the dust. Like, okay, is there anything in here? Uh, 
Nope. Nope. Yeah, that, that we're both in the same boat. We, 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 our attacks are amazing. Our investigating skills just suck. <laughs> uh, uh, give me that sword. I'm going to use your sword to shift through it because I don't want to use mine. <laughs> Uh, poke, 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 uh... Investigate! Or perception, I should say. Search, 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 search. Ooh. Cautiously looks at amulet. Um, let's first of all see if my guy can at all sense any sort of uh, magic from it. If I can't, I'll let someone else do that. I'm, I'm just to point out, holding it with the tip of the sword because I don't want to touch it. So, is there any sense, like, kind of, like, m magic aura from it? Ah. Well, then why did I have to emulate? Uh-huh. If you say if it's a philosopher's stone. Because I really hope it's not a philosopher's stone. <laughs> did its magical properties stay or did that disappear when the mummy died? disappeared when the mummy died okay hmm so now it's just now it's just a rant, uh an amulet that has a, with the shape of a heart hmm okay huh wait 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 first of all show it to Rika see if it she if it's familiar to her The amulet. <laughs> do, do, do you know, like, do you know who originally owned this? Hmm? Uh, can you repeat that? Because Discord likes cutting you out, apparently. She shakes her head or nods her head. So she she knows who originally owned it. Okay. What was it a relative of hers? Okay. Hmm. -mm. Wait. Okay. So that's uh brings up some questions for how an amulet from that her mom had suddenly was on a mummy and it was keeping the mummy alive. 
Hmm. So many questions. Get a, get some get one answered and more pop up. That's that the joy of investigations. <clears throat> Wait, so... Hmm. Interesting. If the magic's from the basement, that's gonna be. Uh, that's if there's a basement. Yeah, no basement. Well, whenever you think of a creepy old haunted place, there's usually something in. There's usually a basement. So, yay, no basement. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, well, I think we've searched the most out of the first room, so, yeah, let's go search the second room. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, boy, that means, uh, okay, well, I'm, first of all, I'm going to guess if there's any books, they're completely destroyed. Unless there's a book that's in a case or something that was wasn't touched by the flames mm. is, is okay so can is there a desk at all in the room yeah so there's gonna be a desk <laughs> Because my train of thought is, if there's a, since there's a desk, if there's anything ornamental on the desk, always check the ornaments because you never know. Could be a secret lever or something hidden in the thing, or and then there's the other case of look at all the books and to see if if moving a book if equals secret passage because that's you that could be a thing. <laughs> Well, if there's there are if there are any notes, it'd be either su very surprising. It'd be very surprising if they didn't get burned because of the flames. Because, or at least at the very least, a little bit toasty because if they were in a drawer or something. Ooh, nope. Hmm. Okay. Let's go with. Yeah, I'm also going to try investigating the, de the desk to see if there's anything special about it. That's if my... I, I don't know if my 11 goes towards 18 or if it just means... Or if I have to do a different... Get a different thing. I don't know. It's always hard to remember. Hmm. Nope.
There, there may be, there might, might actually be some sort of magically hidden passage. Who knows? That's the thing about mages is that you never know. They're secret. They're, they're, they, they, they can be sneaky. What their magically protected areas. Any that aren't burned too badly. Are very lucky. I'm also going to do the same thing of try to see if I can find any books that aren't horribly destroyed. <laughs> it's now uh, all I got 10. It's going to be pure luck if Nikki gets lowered in the 10. <laughs> nope. Considering there's a plus four to these dice, there's something hidden in this room. There has to be something hidden. <laughs> okay, I get... <laughs> Ooh. Nope. And this time Arcana's plus six, so <laughs> getting closer to the possible source of making it hard to find. She left with the jars and is going to come back. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, at first, I just have to try it myself to see if I can actually beat it or somehow. Oh my god! Please, please, game, don't be mean. Please. Um. As um. <laughs> thank you, national. Thank you, critical. <laughs> no. No. Wait. You upped it by one. What? Okay, the roll against Freud was 
1d20 plus 6. The roll against me was 1d20 plus 7. Hmm. Hmm. You're really going to drive us crazy with the fact that we're not going to be able to find anything because our stats for searching suck. The fact that I got a critical a critical 24 arcana was amazing and then it just went away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, 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 I, is Rika still with us? Or did Rika leave with Ella? Or L? Okay, Rika got got scared due to the mummy and left with L. Um, the old uh, yeah, yeah. There's that, or it's just simply like just move one thing out of place. And if something was meant to protect this area, it would appear. <clears throat> nope. I just I read, I just know that Nikki asked for possible scenarios from her brother, so Um If there is a possible situation that was thought up by your father, I'm more scared of that because um he probably has more uh, horror-ish ideas that could probably be worse because older movies equal not a lot crazier ideas because probably seen a lot of different movies. Uh, probably doesn't more experience as a DM probably does probably helps in thinking um, terrifying situations. Oh boy. Anyway, yeah.
this is a room that we st still haven't been able to search 100% because, um, roll 20. <coughs> Mm. You weren't sure where we were searching, so... Okay. Um... Okay. Okay, so I'm getting the sense that the floors might be a bit, um, precautious. Yep. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Oh. And then, myself. Oh. Yay! <laughs> okay. So, somebody was cautious, uh, protective of this room. Hmm. Think think of it like the whole like uh booby trapped Yeah. Yeah, like the whole I I tell you look you marked it over here. The darts landed over here. Plus you'd be able to tell the difference between the darts, I'm guessing. <laughs> Oh. Uh. Your, your 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 father is devious, but that's also a very valid DM technique. <laughs> I've seen my have may have just been this room. Yeah, so, in other words, tap every floor panel before you step on it. Or, in this case, every square. Okay, so there's something over there on the floor, okay? So, walking towards the book ca bookcase, quest, fingers crossed, equals safe. Hmm, oh wait. Huh. I'm gonna slide over one. Hmm. 
They're all safe. It's safe. But either way, get ready to the hit the deck. Oh. <laughs> Spot safe. Let's go with one giant step over there, and then another giant step basically around the corner of the table to here. I'm not kicking anything. Ow. And that's probably going to create quite the um, sound wave. <laughs> Boosh. Possibly. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, so I'm just going to... First of all, since my guys are ready... Uh, has, um, unintentionally, like hit the floor because of unbalanced issues apparently since I'm already on the ground I'm going to look underneath the desk because might as well take the opportunity while I have it <laughs> nothing no, there's nothing suspicious about underneath the desk okay because some, sometimes there's hidden stuff under the desk but Okay. That's what I was gonna do. Anyway. Perception. Oh gosh. I got another six, and then a sixteen. But this time it wasn't a critical failure. <laughs> I'll say we'll just be getting up now. Stop. What? Oh. 
What do we have to roll? D10? Oh, perception. No. No. Okay. Okay. There was some sort of giggle. I didn't hear the giggle myself, I just looked over at the jukebox to see what I was playing and it said giggle, like a fairy giggle. So, think of just like, yeah, it would be like, just basically be like a laughing Tinkerbell. <laughs> Uh, yeah, any little quiet laughter, I don't trust either, because it's usually some sort of a younger spirit thing. <laughs> when it comes to spirits, I'm very, very cautious, because, um... We did have a, do a, have a horror d d session that uh, revolves around spirit, spirit things, and that got a little bit... Sp yeah... <laughs> Wait. Um, I just had a moment of thought, um, are we even sure that's L in the gal? Because that could easily be uh, spirit trickery. Because that's the thing about spirits is that they can trick one's sight into believing something is something else. Like, the spirits could easily make themselves look like a different person. Uh oh. <laughs> mm. Okay. It's it like it, it it's them the ghost just get oh Nikki who's has their hearts. <laughs> mm. 
the desk itself. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> you know some a lot uh, what like that the the, the mark Oh yeah. Um Get up. Get out of the Doop 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 Oh it's a It might be a case of it it won't go off until you step off of it. You can step on it, but it won't trigger until you the pressure is gone. Click There it is. Yeah. Do 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 do. Nope, you're fine. You dodged onto the table. That. Oh God. That's a. Elder Scrolls stuff. <laughs> well, you say that, but there are in Elder Scrolls, there are some cases where the things would go up, and some cases where the thing would go down into spikes. So it's either you always forget to look up, or you always forget to look down. In some cases, the down bit doesn't happen until you're on the spot that goes down. Sometimes I doubt it's that, and I might just be where <laughs> the server connection is. Oh, wait, no, the server connection's good. Ooh. <laughs> There's very positive. It's very possible that there's a third trapped in this room because you never know. Whoop. Um, Xylon looks towards the two, and he's just like, "Dead Rika decided to stay at the inn because of the mummy situation." But Rika uh, But 
What? What? Didn't L come with us? Then. Then. It wasn't L that was with us? It was, L and Rika was, were with us. <laughs> Uh, what the, huh? Xylem's not aware of this, so he's just waiting for the confirmation from Froy that there's something up or strange. But nope. Yep. So. No. Okay, so that is a Well, considering we're in a haunted house, um, got it. Uh, so in, in other words, Rika, I have a feeling, f f followed a spirit disguising itself as L. That's the laughter that you, your, your character... Uh, God, I... <laughs> oh, God. And that's where the spirit is wrong, because spirits can be killed as well. Oh, uh, God. Asylum looks towards Alexa, and he's just like, you know what that means? We have to search this entire house. Not just for the story behind it, but also to find Rika because I hate spirits. Ugh. Okay. Uh, 
aside from the red eyes. Down. <laughs> what it's like what level what what um what level of undead spirit are we referring to here lich Um, uh, oh, yeah, um, is that why did I? I have an sudden terrifying notion that what we just saw was a death specter. <laughs> Either a death specter, a grim reaper. Or... Yes. Wait, is this a Jin? No. There's reapers. There's there's okay. It's not a gin. I don't think it would eat. Mm, that kid's okay, close to a gin, but not one. Um. Oh, there are so many different types of supernatural creatures that appear in Supernatural that are under the Spectre category that could possibly or not be killed. All depends on the situation and what it takes. Ugh, God. I mean, like, it... the closest thing that I know that was in Supernatural that was almost a, a Jin but wasn't would be, there's Genie, but I don't think it's a Genie. It's not a, it's not a gin. Um, ah, God. A spirit that can change its form dependent on, I'm guessing, some uh, a, a person in someone's memories. Okay, is and uh, this is my main question: Is this actually is this actually a spirit or is it a shapeshifter? Ah, uh, uh, God. Yeah, I I I can't think of it. <sighs> End of, end of season. End. What? What episode was it? Demons? Uh, 
Well, uh, yeah, I I think pretty. Yeah, the, are you talking about the like the episode where the the it was the healing priest, but the only reason why everything was the people were getting healed is because the Death Reaper was trapped and under control of the gal. I said death. I said a reaper. I did. It was one of the like maybe the. I I said I think I may have accidentally mumbled it while I was listing things off but yeah I what I there was a point where I said death specter and then I said the reaper or grim reaper yeah So yeah, okay. Yeah, we're dealing. I so why the heck would a reaper have red eyes? Hmm. And technically, you can kill a reaper. It just has to be a um special way. I'm if anyone's if anyone's watching this more than likely they've seen like season two or three supernatural by now <laughs> I know I'd be surprised but <sighs> uh. What the heck would a reaper? What the heck would the? I can understand why a reaper would be in this house though, because if there was a lot of death in this house, it makes sense. Or if there were any like un, unsettled or unrested spirits hanging around this place, then of course, yeah, also makes sense why there'd be a reaper here. If we're going by rules of how reapers work in supernatural. I know it's D and D. I said if we're going by the rules of supernatural. Uh, oh boy. That is a spirit in chains. I'm kind of worried about what Sly has to do. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm, okay. Spirit in the corner of the room. I have no idea how to deal with that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Or just don't have to deal with it and can ignore the spirit. Hmm. Um, I just have to ask the question: Is the the is the is the whole spiritual ceiling a thing in this as well? Where like if spirit doesn't want you to leave, you can't leave. <laughs> okay. Uh. It might be that that spirit might be locked here because of the 
the red eyed one. Well, no, there's a Reaper, and then there's the Grim Reaper. There's a slight difference. That's if the spirit can even talk, or hear us, or see us. Okay, um, considering that the spirit is ignoring us, we can probably ignore it and uh, continue onward with our uh, investigation. Uh, or religious, a religion. Oh, jeez! You got a critical, uh, like tw you got a twenty. <laughs> That doesn't explain what type of spirit he is, though. That's what Freud was trying to recall with religion, is what type of spirit it is. There are different categories of spirits. There, the, 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 yeah, there are spirits that can f uh, f roam freely, and then there are spirits that are chained to a specific location because of what happened? Is it the? Is it this room specifically, or is it? You would think it'd be You would think it'd be closer. You would be closer to the object he's chained to. Huh. I. Why do I have? Why do I have a feeling that there's, there's going to be some some. Some some sort of necromancy room on the top floor. Considering that there was a mummy, and then there's ghost, and and then also whatever the red-eyed thing was, all pointing towards. In the jar. That explains. Oh. Okay. Red. No oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh. It moved. Michael's, uh, Spectre got it. I didn't realize Sly was controlling the spirit. I thought you were. Just be cons considering like considering Sly's name's been Spectre for the past several weeks, it just didn't 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 connect. If he said Okay.
<laughs> Terrified little spirit. What do you mean walking and floating? <laughs> I don't I don't think uh putting a ghost into a corner is a very good thing. <laughs> oh, oh initiative. <laughs> uh Sounds like, um, I'll let you deal with that. I'm going to see where that giggling came from. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, so, like, what's down this hall? What, like, what's down here? Okay. There's a staircase. Me? I was like, er, like walking that way. Hmm. That's, I went that way, and then I went that way. Let me guess. There's a booby trap in the center of the floor. What's with the Booby trapped haunt haunted house. <laughs> no god. <laughs> Too bad I can't say the ten because my guy was expect was being cautious about booby traps after seeing two of them. Dang it! And the spirit's right there. Oh God. Oh, can, um, I have a quick question. Did it actually spray my face or did it just spray like my legs or something? Because I'm way too tall for this place. <laughs> Whoever designed that booby trap was way too, way, way, way too cautious about booby traps. Most normal people would would go go for a human head, not a giant Goliath head. Poof. And. And collapse. Oh, k double. Well, why? There. Oh, boosh.
that's uh good 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 luck with that. Let's see. Was I currently holding holding his uh, one uh, completely like shot ear? He's like, how was I supposed to realize that there would be sleeping gas dispensers specifically at my head height? I'm going to have I'm going to have to I'm going to have to distinguish between sly talking and the spirit talking because so up until this up up until this moment it's just been sly talking. Blech. All, all, but yeah, they, well, all I can tell is that there is definitely another room right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Roboto. Major Roboto. There we go. What, well, there's either a very happy spirit in there, or it's a very, um, or both. He, uh, wow, Cur still currently, like, kind of get adjusting his one ear. He's like, I'll try. Ugh. We weren't able to. <laughs> Couldn't see anything very well. Because... You, um, sounds like, you know, uh, let me be, um, forefront and, uh, use just myself be a shield and have my great sword out as a double shield for the, just in case anything goes flying at us. Let's 
so I'm just going to plop myself there. I have. Oh God, why? This is the third one my guys prepared for booby traps. Just to point that out. Prepare it for booby traps. We'll see. Uh, I got warped away. Okay. <laughs> well, there goes. Oh. Wait, I got forcefully rolled downstairs that I could easily just could have stopped myself from rolling down. And I had my, I had my, okay. Oh. Because, yeah. Just to point out, Froy, you were one step away from doing the very same thing. Possibly. <laughs> the only reason why it happened to me is that I was because I was getting prepared to be the shield to block any heavy anything from being thrown at us. Um, is it safe to stand down that one spot? Okay. Ow. Blah. Well. <laughs> Sly's not very thrilled, apparently. <laughs> I have I have soared out and stabbed into the ground to, to be a double shield. And there are the books. Um, before I move forward, I am before before I move forward, I'm going to. T <laughs> yeah. Before I move forward, I'm going to use my sword and tap that spot right there. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, so, at, uh, um, mm-hmm, yeah, I've hit, oh, yay, We, well, we've already, like, four have been hit. Two were, um, successful dodges, and two were unsuccessful dodges. <laughs> I have my sword up in front of me. Ow. Loop. Yep. <sighs> chill. Sim chill. Simply put, we are in a haunted house, and Rika is somewhere in this place, and we're investigating it. Are, are, are you drinking tea? <laughs> and then Freud was checking the floor to see if the panel in front of him has the trap. like a book. Different child. So there was a trap, but not an actual trap.
<laughs> yeah, just be just let just know to roll backwards. Cause th this is the only panel that you know of that's safe. Um. Does Big Sissy have red eyes? We met her. She... Except for a little red-haired girl, apparently. That's not... Uh, comforting. Did ex extremely uncovered uncomforting um <sighs> okay so uh, takes a moment and sounds like okay If you if if you okay if you do not know the answer to a question that we ask you can throw a thing at us if you know the answer you get the answer C be cautious where you stand did you go that way I mean oh. Did you go that way or did you go that way? That way. Do it. Oh, you. And so, in other words, there's a booby trap somewhere over here. to the one that I proposed. Correct. If she doesn't know the, know, know the answer, she'll throw something. If she does, she'll answer. Okay. Well, there, you, you didn't hit any booby trap. Well, more than likely, if she throws it at you, you'll see it coming. Hopefully. Yeah. Unsettling. So, hour and 30 minutes. Hour and 30 minutes. To find her, but it's already been 30 minutes. So. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. There it is. You made you took one move and 
I'll you little. Oh boy. No. And if you try if you tried to go down into the pit, you would slide and you would get impaled. So. And can you be mindful of your drink cuz slurping it into the mic is not audio friendly. So before the fire. <laughs> I, in preparation, Xylem had his sword ready. <laughs> oh God! Right. Um. Okay. Um, I'm going to athletically dodge forward. Well, then I'll... Okay, then I'll just try to... <sighs> Duck or... This is why... This is why I can't do dexterity. I lo uh, Xylem looks at the spirit kit uh, person and he's just like, you realize how tall I am, don't you? When you are tall and slow, it is a valid reason to not do be able to dodge. <laughs> it has nothing to deal with you. God damn it. Yay! Alright, you, you, I just did. You walked down 10 feet. Well, I'm going to try to get up and get a chain with Lady Flintstone. Let's go see if we can't chain with Lady Flintstone. What? So, whatever. You don't know this. That is. That's metagaming chill. You can't do that. Only my, only my guy notices this. It's logical. Um, Twenty-two. Right. When she's alive, she up, and you the they're they're So whether they're, whatever they're chained bound to is in that pile. Um. It. it, it, it
You just... You just can't leave this house. How many friends? Uh, that sounds bad. Okay, um... No, you mean question? Um, Zylan looks to, looks at her and he asks, "Are we able to look at the books?" Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, um, point taken. I, I, I just wanted to be sure. Chill. You're going to get yourself killed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you be you be careful cuz if you get hit by a book, you might stumble into the pit. Right? Okay, um... Hmm. I'm guessing the pile of books. Wait, the other you? Um... What if finding the other you e equals having the look in the pile of books? Okay, so yeah. Either the cupboards, the dressers, or whatever, or the bed.
21. Text. <laughs> the poison? Hmm. Oh boy. Lucky you. It's <laughs> not the bed. <laughs> you, me and Froy aren't really up for that, considering um, we're just not good. Oh yay. About time. Chill. Um, okay. I'm gonna let Chill take care of that considering he he's over there and we don't know if there's any boo traps around here. <laughs> Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh. Natural crit. Uh. Natural failure. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, that's very, that sounds very sacrificial. I just I, and she said be careful so if we since we get to search the pile of books now right Okay, what? Okay. I just have to point out that I have, I have a sneaking suspicion that as we look through books, it's possible that there's a hidden booby trap underneath the pile of books. <laughs> considering, we've, considering we've only found one, or actually two booby traps so far. Uh oh. There it is.
I just have to point out, whenever you pick up a book, double check whether or not it has a chain connected to it. Because whichever book has a chain connect on it, it's either connected to the little girl or to the guy. Okay, oh wow, that, it's that book, wow. Magic? Oh, boy. Um, considering it's a, it's, it's just a spell that prevents a any user besides the person that puts it wait, it wait is it um wait so it's It's an amulet. Or a ring. No. You don't have one. <laughs> That's you'll, that also is too much work, considering Froy has the rings on him. Likely. Really?
<laughs> Which we who who we already met. Oh, well. Poof. No. And leave the two of us to deal with a more than likely very powerful person. Or spirit. That you'd be you'd be surprised. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, let's just go up. Let 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 let's just go. Chill. Holy crap. Uh, and you also need to make sure you're, you've selected your token. You click on your character. Uh Um One Dupe uh, Dupe Dupe. Well, diagonally is double. Alright, or, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, then, boom, there. There, 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 there goes Jill. Yep. Somehow we were cautious ones and missed every single. What? When it came to the staircase, I knew there was going to be booby traps, so I was like, I'm going to stand on the edges. <laughs> when it comes to staircases, the one thing I've learned is when you're walking on a staircase, you step on the edges. Ooh. 